You driving? Some plan Bs are smarter than others. If you're drinking, don't drive. RBT means you need a plan B. Authorised by New South Wales Government, Sydney. Well, Nick Madison, it's certainly been a long off-season. How excited are you to get back to cricket this weekend? Uh, yeah, pretty pumped. Um, had our last game of cricket on the weekend for grade and we fielded for 96 overs, so I'm, I can't wait to get out there and have a bat. What was it like to get back to grade cricket? Uh, yeah, it was good. Um, it's, like you said, it's been a long off-season, so it's good to be out there on the field again. OK, now talk about the, the experience you've gained from working with Michael Bevan this off-season. What's that been like for your game, both uh, physically and mentally? Uh, you know, it's good to have someone to talk to who's played um, so much cricket for Australia and been so successful, especially in the one-day format. So I think that's where he's helped my game and just having him there to talk to when I, when I need him is a great plus. OK, now the winter's been littered with cricket in various formats and a number of your teammates have taken part. Who do you think from the Blues is looking good to go in this one-day cup right now? I think we've been quite lucky that everyone's played, playing well in these early season games. Um, you know, Scott Henry scored 100 a few weeks ago and a lot of the bowlers have come back from Australia 8, um, like the likes of Grinder Sandu, um, Josh Hazelwood and, and Pat Cummins. So I think it's an exciting time for New South Wales in terms of this one-day cup. OK, and on the same token, there's a number of players who are un currently unavailable for the squad away on Australian selection tour. What does that change in your game, having a lot of those senior guys away from the squad? Uh, just uh, makes me sort of shoulder a little bit more of the responsibility, I think. Um, Warner, Smith and Sean Abbott were all such big players for us last year in this format of the game, so I guess now it's up to the guys that have, have been around both last year and going into this year's team to, to shoulder that responsibility and start taking control of the team and, and um, looking to, to score the runs and take the wickets that those guys did. Is that something that you want to personally put your hand up to do? Yeah, definitely. I think um, I was pretty disappointed last last year in cricket as a, as a whole. I was a little bit inconsistent, so I think that's what I'm, I'm working on the, going into this year and hopefully it can start well. In um, now, first game you've got up is against the Redbacks at Allenboard Oval. What do you think we can expect out of them? Uh, you know, they're always a, a tough team. You know, We've had some, some tight games against them over the past few years, but I think uh, that we've prepared well and we know a lot of their players and the way they're going to come at us. So I think New South Wales are going to go out there and attack and play the, the way we always do. OK, and Alan Board Oval, you've had some recent success there yourself. How's your confidence going back to the, that site? Uh, it's a lovely ground to bat. Um, doesn't matter what form, how your form is. So it's a, it's a small ground and usually a nice, nice fast wicket. So it's an excellent place to play cricket and it's going to be tough. Um, you know, whether we're defending or, or um, chasing a score, it's never easy to against the likes of you know, South Australia in the first game and then Queensland in their home turf. Okay, there's only a, sh a couple of days off between your games up there. It's quite a condensed format. How does that change your cricket? Uh, it doesn't change it too much. I think just the being a little bit more prepared going into the first game, knowing that you mightn't be able to train um, on those back-to-back -back days. But I think you know, we've, we've had such a long pre-season and guys have done a lot of work, so we should be, should be in good stead going into the, the tight format. And we're only st still 12 months removed from your first taste of international cricket in the T20 side. Do you think this tournament can be a springboard for yourself to get back into the team in any format? I think so. You know, any time um, we get to play, you're putting your name up in front of selection, up for selection. So I think it's important, especially for myself, to try and find that consistency that I'm after um, and be able to put back-to-back -back scores on the board. Sweet. Nick Madison, thanks very much for your time. Thanks.